Hello, this is Superintendent Green. I am here today with Gabby, uh, Gabriela Gell. Gabby, thank you for being here today. Hi. Gabby is one of our nurses here in the district. And Gabby, could you tell us a little bit about you, where you work, uh, what you do, uh, the impact that you have in the district? So um, I am a school nurse. Um, I have been working as a school nurse for five years. I currently work at YB Tech and Online. And I um, also work as a migrant nurse case manager for our migrant program district-wide. What does that entail, uh, the migrant position? So I help bring resources, um, break those barriers between our migrant families and our um, community health resources, help them gain access to health care um, that they might not have because of their language barriers or anything like that. That's a big responsibility, especially then considering you also uh, work at uh, YB Tech and our Yakima Online. So thank you so much for all that you yeah. do for our students and community. So it really makes us um, in, in health services, you know, that's what we do. We care for people, we care for our families and our students. And I really um, like the fact that we are able to bring resources to them here locally um, and just help, like I said, break those barriers that there, there sometimes comes with healthcare. Yeah. What has been uh, one of the big challenges of, of nursing in this last year? So it's, it's been a rough actually like two years now with, with COVID. Um, we want, our nurses are getting burnt out and so staffing has been, has been really hard. People are getting sick and um, so we're doing the best that we can. We want to uh, keep our, our families healthy and safe and so we just try to follow the protocols and policies that we are, are given mm -hmm. to, to do that. Yeah. Well, thank you. I know it's it's just such a daunting position, uh, you know, in, in one building, let alone serving two and then working with our, our migrant population. So thank you for all that you do and all of your colleagues as well. Yeah, it's It's been a really rewarding yeah. to, to see families, get, you know, get that help. Absolutely. Now, we have some news for the community here, and that's yeah. about a health fair. Yes, yes. Super excited um, to, to be announcing this uh, family health resource fair on December 9th from 4 to 7. Um, it's open to all families district-wide. We will be offering COVID vaccines, flu vaccines, vision screenings. Um, there will be community uh, resources from different clinics and um, to provide information to families um, about how to stay healthy. Um, we will have some kits to send home with families on Christmas activities. Mm -hmm. Santa will be there to take pictures. Um, so it's gonna, it's, we're very excited. To and, and again, the time? From four to seven. Um, four to seven. Yeah, Thursday, okay. uh, December 9th at Adams. Adams Wonderful, Adams. so I heard flu shots, uh, vaccines, uh, Santa. Yeah. Uh, pack packages or gifts to home, some type to, of resource to go home. Yep, take home kids and mm -hmm. even a little meal to take home as well. Now, I, I understand that we have some vaccine clinics at two separate locations, one at Barge Lincoln and one at Davis on the 14th, correct? Correct, yes. Um, we will be having vac uh, COVID vaccine available for five and over, and at both locations, Barge and Davis, and we will also be offering the flu vaccine at Davis as well. As we uh, prepare for winter break, we know that we're also testing right up until the time that we leave from school, from work. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about where that's offered? Yeah, so we're continuing to offer testing here at the professional library at the district office from 1 to 5, uh, Monday through Friday, and that's open to all families throughout the district. So weekdays here at, uh, at the uh, central office, uh, 104 North 4th Avenue, and the times again? 1 to 5. 1 to 5. And it is rapid testing, so they should get your results within 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah, very important to take care of this, especially as we leave into a time where families are coming together, people are traveling, make sure that we're tested and ready to, to go. Yep. Personally, and on behalf of our school board, I want to thank you for all that you do as a nurse in our system and representing other nurses. Uh, we have just such a, a wonderful outpouring of concern for, uh, for you, and we know that you are concerned about our students and our community, so thank you. You're welcome, and it's a pleasure to be able to provide these services to our families.